We should not be normalizing hiding our dirty laundry behind a developer mode. You don't need to be a developer to send your printer a print. Give me a break. What they should call this is insecure mode, and it shouldn't exist. As a cloud developer, I've gone down this path before, learning, struggling, wrapping my head around security certificates and keys and chains, before ultimately it clicked. Unfortunately, Bamboo is in a bad position, where they feel like they need to release an update ASAP to fix the security hole, yet their team of interns is not capable of doing that. And thus, we get this half-baked insanity. Bamboo has a structural problem, wherein they're trying to fix their code with more code. I have been a web developer for over 20 years now, and I've seen it over and over. This behavior points squarely to a lack of experience and is something that only bad, ineffective developers do. They tack on stuff, like when they tacked on land mode, which isn't what you think of when you think of land mode, by the way. They tacked on a network plugin, which is just an extra bloat for no reason. They're tacking on Bamboo Connect for some extra garbage that nobody asked for. They're tacking on developer mode, which is a mode to turn off security, which is the worst because most likely I think it will appease the crowd, but the crowd is still getting played. It's like if people complain that their seat belts don't grow across their waist and the manufacturer just says, we're not gonna fix it, but we'll allow you to take off your seat belts instead. <sighs> it's like they're feigning productivity. Bamboo may have the worst PR team I've ever seen, but this problem started before they got involved. So I say, Bamboo web developers, who probably aren't involved in 3D printing, found a gaping security hole and tried to cover it up, and didn't want to admit to their incompetence, and tried to hurry along a new update that would cover their tracks forever. The PR team, having not a clue what all of this meant, puked up some nonsense to serve as an announcement. This message, meant as a footnote, causes the masses to investigate further. Bamboo tripped over themselves and under scrutiny, the only thing that explains this deceitful behavior is the PR person attempting to cover up their own lies in addition to covering up the mistakes of the developers. But what do I mean by the mistakes of the developers? Let me explain simply as a build up from no security to the modern security bleeding edge. Let's look at the simplest method possible to send a print to a printer. Your computer can find a printer on the network and connect to it without any encryption or authentication and control it in absolutely any way, including but not limited to commanding it to print something. This is actually super common. If you're at home on your network with a few dozen devices on it, there's little reason to secure your printer at all. Mine isn't. This provides me with a hassle-free user experience, doesn't involve any extra software, and is insecure. So what if we need to secure the printer, say because we're not a home user, but we're a school with a network that's not entirely accounted for? We need to confirm that the user is allowed to control the printer before he starts controlling it. The foundation of any security is access control. Thankfully, long ago, some computer scientists divided the system so that future developers like Bamboo would not have to reinvent and could thus create secure apps with no extra software. And just like my unencrypted and unsecured example, provide a similarly friction-free user experience. And that system is known as public key encryption, and it is universal, meaning all computers are included. The thing is though, although it's easy for the end user, it's not so easy for developers to wrap their head around. It's quite confusing in fact. But once you understand it, implementing it takes minutes to hours. Not days, not weeks. You might see where I'm going with this. Bamboo's clearly caught up in the middle of learning the right way to do it, but they think they need to ship a solution ASAP without knowing what the heck they're doing and what we wind up with is this half-baked insanity. But forget about Bamboo's trashy approach for a second, and let's upgrade my insecure example to add security, but approaching it like a senior engineer instead of an unpaid intern. My slicer advertising a unique string of numbers, aka a public key, would make its first connection to the printer, having never talked to it before. Because the printer has a display, it can display a confirmation screen, allowing me to in-person confirm that the connection is for me and authorize user with physical access to the printer. 
Now that my public key is saved locally to the printer, the devices are now paired and future pairing will not be needed. If you've ever SSH'd into a server, you should know this because you can put in your password every time or you can copy your public key to the server. And then you don't have to put in your password and at the same time, you've enhanced your security through the power of certificates. Now, let's leave the network. Oh no, my laptop is now cut off from the printer. We now need something that can bridge the printer to my laptop. Here comes the cloud service. With the cloud service in the middle of my laptop and printer, I can regain access to my printer as if I was standing right next to it. No bamboo account needed. A basic cloud server that serves as a switchboard operator is all we really need. But since we're investing in the cloud, we might as well incorporate some stuff that you can only do with a cloud server. You've used cloud shit, smart plugs, robots, vacuums, baby monitors, cameras, doorbells, home security stuff. This isn't exactly the experience you know. What's missing is cloud accounts. Accounts provide a way for the company to get your email and as a place to store backups of your public keys and the cloud can control your printer on your behalf. Sounds fishy, but how else are we gonna send a print to your printer from a website? The truth is that while it's fishy, extending access to the printer to the cloud opens up more applications and consumers are more than happy to oblige, for better or for worse. At this point, we're done. The slicer can now either communicate directly with the printer over LAN, secured by public key encryption, or if we're not on the same network, once we log in, we can go through the cloud service, secured in the exact same way. The experience to the end user is no different whatsoever. What's more is that slicers that want to communicate with the printer don't need Bamboo Connect. They never did. <laughs> so what went wrong? Well, the first advice from anyone who's gone down the security rabbit hole before is don't implement the security yourself. You're bound to mess up something. Someone much smarter than you already made what you need line for line. I said extend access to the cloud, but Bamboo requires you to relinquish it. It's up to you to decide what their intentions are, but the fact is that's how their security works. Bamboo attempts security by encrypting your print files using a Bamboo created private key, which is a bad idea. That key should never leave Bamboo HQ and it necessitates the distribution of said certificate. Hence, the Bamboo Connect software and the network plugin for Orca Slicer. Now, instead of your public key, Bamboo uses its public key. The security does nothing but attest that the command was sent from a Bamboo branded software and does nothing to attest that you are the one sending it. This pathetic cybersecurity mistake is kind of like leaving your key under the mat because the printers will only accept commands that were signed by one certificate, that one, Bamboo printers can only be controlled by a Bamboo server. Instead of accepting commands from computers that have been paired to it, like in my correct infrastructure. That means Bamboo security is fake. The astute among you may have realized that public key cryptography is in fact the sole only way that computers talk to each other securely. And so by that definition, anything else is not secure. So we have a poorly made software connecting to a poorly made web service that nobody asked for that isn't even secure. And yes, it took researchers one day to extract that key. So in theory, we could just use that, but then we'd start this whole whack-a-mole thing. Anyways, I think it should be clear from looking back at this, if the explanation is incompetence, then it's probably not malice, but it's not mutually exclusive. And either way paints Bamboo in a poor light and incompetence breathes malice. So let's hope that's not the case. But with their current team, Bamboo has no shot at redemption. And that's sad because the only team that fucked up here is the cloud team. And building a 3D printer is certainly a great example of a team effort with experts coming together to create something great. And the hardware and electronics team have carried Bamboo this far. And proactively, if this doesn't affect you, please refrain from commenting. Just because it doesn't affect you, like 9-11, doesn't mean you should go and downplay something that hits home for others, like a 9-11 joke. Harsh, but brand apologists are some of the strangest creatures to walk this planet. 